Hey, it's your boy AJ back with another freaking video, and today I'm here with another baddies review. I think this is episode four. These girls are rolling. These girls are rolling. It's entertaining, girl. It is entertaining. So without further ado, let's roll the intro and move directly on into today's video. So this episode opens up with my girl Summer. Ugh! My girl Summer, okay, my girl Summer, girl, knock her hoes down. Now the first fight, girl, she she look here, she was the whole knockdown. The first fight that opens up the episode, she was the whole knockdown. But the second fight, she knocked that hoe down, girl. She knocked that hoe down. She got on top of style, whacking her, beating her, beating her. I said, oh my goodness, this remind me of Roly on top of Camilla. Ah, girl, cause Roly was on top of Camilla. Was that how you say her name? Um, whatever the fuck her name is, girl. Rolly was on top of her ass on that reunion and dogged her in. Camilla got up and she said, you know what? I got kids. Yeah, bitch. You better value your life in the ass, baby, because you, you was going to be knocked straight to Jesus, baby. So when, when someone was on top of that girl, it reminded me of Rolly on top of Camilla. So I was gagging, okay? I was gagging. Like I said, the first fight, I don't know who she fought. Was it um, Ivory? Okay, she went and fought Ivory Park, okay? And Ivory Park had been fucking everybody up since episode one and a half. Um, so I don't know why she did that. She already got fucked up by her. But girl, she ends up getting fucked up by Ivory. Then she moves on to the next bitch and she fucks up the next bitch, okay? After that, um, girl starts saying, you know, what you say? I don't have to fight. I don't have to fight. You can't fight, baby. It's not you don't have to fight. It's, you can't fight, okay? But it's time for Natalie's group of girls to finally show up. It's so much going on outside, girl. I forget that Natalie and them are not there. I forget the ringleader of the mess, the house meet and caller is not there. I forget that she's not there. I'm sitting here thinking in my head that Natalie has set all this up. I'm thinking they already had the house meet and then forgot. It's, that's how dramatic things are out there. These hoes are in the field, okay? So these hoes are in the field so deep. I think Natalie set it up, but baby girl, it is not even set up by Natalie because she ain't there. So once Natalie finally does get there, she creeps off the bus and this bitch is appalled, baby, because bitches are in braids, wigs is fried and laid to the fucking side, bitch. Hoes is laid out, girl, there's so much going on. So Natalie's like, what she come in and say? She said, what's going on? Jeez, who's been fighting? Who hasn't been fighting would be a better question. <laughs> Everybody be able to answer that quick, fast, in a hurry. Okay, this bitch ain't fought, she ain't fought in that one. Okay, the rest of these bitches ain't been fighting. Okay, that would have been a better question to say, who hasn't fought, okay? Because, girl, them bitches have been tearing each other loose since the motherfucking Sprinter took off from the hotel 45 miles back. Bitch, them hoes whooping ass, okay? Them hoes whooping ass, okay? So, Natalie's trying to get to the bottom of it. You can clearly tell Natalie is mad she missed the mess, okay? Natalie is mad she missed the mess. Now, the girls start fighting as soon as Natalie get there, okay? They give Natalie a show. They give her her show that she was missing, okay, on her ride over. I can't remember who was the first person. I was Summer or somebody else. It might have been Summer at Ivory Park again. I don't know. After that, Jayla gets called out by Ivory. So maybe it was Ivory. Jayla gets called out by Ivory. I think on some, why were you kind of bunch of bullying and Grinchly? I know Ivory wasn't thinking of for Grinchly. Was that, was the, did I watch that shit correctly? I don't think I watched it correctly. <laughs> Man, cause I just, I don't, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm throwing it on Ivory. But I know Ivory and Jayla ends up having this, um, this conversational moment. Now, as they're going back and forth, Jayla saying her thing, Ivory saying her thing, it's just, it's not going where it needs to go go other than asswhooping.com.org, okay? So of course the bitches start fighting. Oh, when I tell you, Jayla didn't fall, but she got beat the fuck up. Oh girl, she got beat the fuck up. Oh, that bitch was whacking her. Uh, 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 uh. Knocks a sense in that bitch. Uh, 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 uh. Cause baby, as soon as her and Jayla got finished fighting, Jayla was really shaking up. She was like, and you know Jayla, what Jayla say on the other season, she said, I will fight you every motherfucking day of the season. This she ain't come up in there with Ivory like that. I will fight you every motherfucking day of the season. I said, well, she didn't say that to Ivory. Baby, after Ivory stopped whooping that ass, baby, Jayla was feeling on her face like this for the rest of the goddamn episode. I don't know if y'all peep, bitch, if she was feeling on that motherfucker just like this. Just like this. Somebody get that bitch a medic. Oh, medic. Get that hoe a medic. After that, it is time for Lex and Stanky Pete to start fighting, okay? Stanky Pete. I just, I, I thought I was gonna live for her for the first episode because she was in her little hat, she was looking at the tea, these bitches fighting, these hoes arguing, she was laughing, gagging, like I would do. If I was on the show, I'd be sitting there laughing and gagging, laughing and gagging, laughing and gagging. I thought that was who she was gonna be, laughing and gagging, but no, she's been part of fucking shit after shit after shit after shit, and she's really ugly as shit. Okay, so I don't even know why I was living for her at the beginning. But Lex and Snakey P, um, that's so funny because, because of Lex P and poor Mike. 
<laughs> and poor minds. Okay. Anyways, Lex and Snakey P, it's time to fight. Okay. Now, after Lex and Snakey P get finished fighting, uh, Snakey P says she want to fight Diamond. I'm a little confused that, but Tinkerbell is not. She's not. She's not. She's not standing on that. Okay, Tink says, you know, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. If you want to fail, you can get it with me. You can get it with me. You can get it with me. So Tink ends up jumping in, and she runs that fade. She beats that bitch the fuck up. Okay, she beats that bitch the fuck up. The girl wants some more. She wants some more. Mm, she wants some more. So she double backs again for a second round. And in the second round, the young lady gets her ass jumped. Okay, because Diamond, the original challenge girl, she jumps in. She's like, you know what, bitch? You was challenging me. I might as well jump in and get a little that too. I need a little that too. So she jumps in. Girl, I'm living. I'm absolutely living. Usually I do not. I will get in front of the screen screen because these bitches out for this jumping shit. But some of these pit bulls, they got to be put down for good. Some of these bitches need to be <laughs> Some of these bitches got to be put down for good. So I'm like, you know, but the first couple of seasons, the hoes they was jumping, I was like, God damn, you, you, girl, you can handle that bitch. You know, if you was hella Kelly, if you was hella hella Kelly, can handle that whole blind and deaf. She can't see the bitch coming, can't hear the bitch coming, but hell and Keller would have stood on business with some of these bitches and they be, they be jumping. I'd be like, girl, how you jumping that weak ass hoe? And hell and Keller could be her. Anyways, but they jumped the bitch. Okay, they jumped the bitch. Um, after that, it is time for uh, Summer to start fighting, okay? So she needs it. She needs it. It's so many different bitches fighting. I'm trying to learn everybody's name, y'all. Um, Summer, who did she end up fighting? I think she ended up fighting Lex, not Lex. I'm um, sorry, because Lex like her. Uh, Ivor again. So Summer jumps in. So Summer jumps up and it's time for her to fight again. Okay. So she's trying. So jump. So Summer runs outside. And it's time for her to fight again. She ends up fighting Ivory. And when I tell you this fight was a hot ass mess. Girl, Summer was laid on that motherfucking floor like I be laid out on Taco Tuesday after four big ass taco stuffed with motherfucking cheese, meat, and sour cream to the fucking rim, bitch. That's me. That's me. Taco Tuesday, bitch. That was that was goddamn summer. That's me and summer after Taco Tuesday. Girls, summer is late for God. I said, oh my goodness, get her up, get her up. <laughs> like this is this is too much. This is too this is too much. I, you know this is too much. And then, you know it's four episodes, and they eating this season up. But it's like damn, we gotta get to the the being baddies part. Okay, let's put this shit on pause. Actually, it's cute, y'all. Open this bitch with a bang. I mean, you bitches been banging everybody's head. Okay, but now put this shit on pause. Put it on. Nip, nip that shit in reverse. So um. Some ends up fighting. That was a hot ass mess. Emily, big face ass. She looks like a she looks she got a chimichanga in the face. I just cannot stand her face. Her face on the confessionals, her face in the scenes. I cannot stand either one because it's, she 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 looks a fucking mess. She looks like a big ass bowl of nothing. Like I just I, I can't explain it. But girl, any which way. She calls out Scotty. She's talking about, you know, Scotty. I just feel like you're boring, you know. Do, 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 do. And Scotty's like, girl, what the fuck are you talking about? She wants to fight Scotty because she feels like she's boring. We always got the one slow retarded bitch in the class who see everybody stop fighting this. She just want to jump at some shit. It, it, I just, girl, you had nothing to do with none of this. Everybody is getting their ones. I don't even, like, you. what is the one that you needed with Scotty? <laughs> She says Scotty is boring and she needs Scotty out of the house. Any which way, they don't fight. I don't think they fight. They don't fight. After that, Jalen ends up getting called out again, okay? She gets called out by Lex. And Lex calls her out for being a bully. I think that's why. I think that was when I heard somebody say you were bullying Grinch or something like that. Because I don't think the first bitch that was trying that, that Jayla fought, I don't think the Ivory called her out for bullying. I can't remember what the fuck. I think that was about some comment and shit. So this is the bully situation, okay? Jayla gets called out by Lex, and she says, you know, I feel like you were a bully, do, do, you know, pick on somebody your own size type gig. <laughs> pick on somebody your own size type gig. You know, Jayla is always talking about, you know, we can run it, we can run it. I'm never running from a fate. You run from a fate 15 minutes ago, bitch. <laughs> In it which way, conversation doesn't go anywhere, okay? Conversation gets nowhere. They do not fight. So Natalie ends up calling the house meeting and saying, you know, ladies, let's move on in. Let's have a house meeting. Now, as soon as this house meeting starts, the girls are ganging up on Biggie for not standing up for herself. And I just, like, I see what people are talking about. But also, I can see why Biggie was like, girl, hell with you. This bitch wanted to fight me. Because I was smelling her wig. Girl, girl, fuck you and that stanky ass motherfucking party city ass shitty ass goddamn wig. Fuck you. I'm not fucking behind no goddamn wig. If you keep pressuring me like you really want the fucking pressure, I will beat your ass. Because who the fuck are you pressuring? That's when the ass went, I ain't fighting no bitch because you mad at me for smelling your stanky ass goddamn wig. Bitch, get the fuck up out of here. Bitch, I'm not fighting you for that. But bitch, if you keep pressuring me, 
on some fighting. Oh, bitch, you want to fight about it? Nah, nah, I fight for, I fight for that because, bitch, ain't no pressure. That would have got you ass. But, but I wouldn't have been. As soon as that bitch started talking about, oh, you smell my wig, I want to fight, I would have laughed that whole face so fucking hard. <laughs> bitch, my jaw would have fell off, bitch. I would have laughed that whole face so goddamn hard, bitch. It would have made no goddamn sense. They're in this house me, and they're trying to, you know, give it to Biggie talking about, you know, you stick it for yourself, stick it for yourself, blah, blah, blah. just going on. Everybody is one by one kind of joining in and tagging her. I didn't agree with anybody outside of Rolly because Rolly was like, really, she made some great, great points. She was like, look here, Biggie, I understand, but everybody has to stand their ground. We've been fighting every season, and if you feel like that's no longer you and it serves you no purpose, you need to honestly just keep your commentary and all of the things that can lead you in fights away. Like, you need to stop it. So, I understand that because Biggie, sometimes you do be doing a little something, something, then you then when it come back, you know, you be like, damn, I, you can't do that, okay? Because these bitches are crazy and they be wanting to fight and they be trying to be there as long as you've been on the show, okay? So, Ark Bark, she started running her mouth harder than she was running them goddamn legs when Tummy started shooting. I'm like, bitch, shut the fuck up. You about to be embarrassing about three, four episodes running from a goddamn BB gun. I don't want her shit from you, bitch. Some certain, when I see certain shit in the trailers and then I see a bitch trying to play, you know, hard, you know, before we get to that part of the show, before that happens, I'd be, I'd be like, girl, this hoe is a clown. Like, look at that bitch she was running. Okay, so when Arkbark was trying to, girl, run at Biggie and talk to Biggie, I was just like, shut the fuck up. You a chicken, you a chicken ass bitch, too. Like, girl, look at you. Like, you were a chicken ass bitch on the conversation show with Tommy, okay? And you were a chicken ass bitch here. You a chicken ass bitch. Shut the fuck up. So... In the midst of everybody going off on Biggie, the other girls are walking in. The new coming girls are walking in. And the topic ends up shifting. Thank God. Okay, the topic ends up shifting. Um, what did come what comes in? They start talking to Summer. Okay, Summer ends up like being overexcited. Like, you know, Summer's just excited. Once she get her ass whooping in for the day, maybe she's just on 10. She's one of those bitches where if they fight at the top of the morning, she's gonna be turned up to the top of the night. So Summer's just on 10, baby. She'd whoop about six, seven asses, or six, seven asses and whooped her. So I, you know. You know, you win, you lose, and you know she's on ten. So when she comes to the house meeting, she's on ten, and of course Ivory is not fucking with her being on ten. So she tells someone like, "Shut the fuck up." Now I just, you know, I, you know, I, I could understand Ivory, and I could, you know, understand Summer, but I understand the moral of nobody is gonna tell me shut the fuck up, and I'm gonna actually do it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Summer started standing on business, bitch. She started standing on business. And she was like, bitch, shut you shut the fuck up. Blah, blah, blah. They end up going back and forth. And and, and she, what was the And I ever, what the bitch ass now? She said, can I beat this bitch the fuck up? Now they said, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's on my watch. Girl, now they said, hell the fucking no. So um, they end up going back and forth, going back and forth. And uh, so after... So after Natalie tells her that, baby, um, Ivory tells Summer, like, you know, bitch, I'm going to beat you up on the NFC. I'm going to fuck up your mouth. I promise you, you ain't going to be able to talk. I'm going to fuck up how you be able to talk. Do -do. And Summer tells her, bitch, you ain't even going to be here. <laughs> and Ivory says, where the fuck am I going to be? And then Summer claps back and says, home, back in the trenches. I said, cool. Oh my God, this bitch is showing, girl. This bitch is acting. She's showing all the little ass she got, bitch. Oh, girl. So I'm going to show all the little ass she got, baby. I'm living. I absolutely living. One thing about it, bitch, y'all hoes is crazy. Summer is, I like, she be right as fuck sometimes and she be wrong as a motherfucker other times, okay? And I just, I cannot, I can't bring myself to just hate her. I just cannot bring myself to produce the feeling that the rest of these girls are producing on this girl. Like, I'm absolutely living. Like, she's turning shit up. Uh, what happened after that? She comes and said, yeah, she comes, this is another lie. She comes and says, you know, they didn't get the wrong bitch some money and everybody in the room, whether they fought her or not, bitch, they are skinning and grinning. <laughs> whether you fought some or not, when they, when she said, you didn't get the wrong bitch some money, everybody's skinning and grinning, bitch, because that's the truth. They know them motherfuckers whose checks is clearing, bitch. Give, give me some of that. Give me some of that. Give me some of that. So, I'm living. I'm absolutely living. Um, the episode ends up winding down. Natalie says, you know, hey, we got to go out to the club. So, bitch, we got to get together. No fighting in this goddamn club. We are a unit. We walk together. We act, you know, as one. Um, before she ends up dismissing the girls completely, she tells them, like, hey, the OGs are not going to stay in this house with y'all. It's a little, you know, cramped or not. So, we're going to leave three OGs with y'all, and we're going to take the rest of them to the different house. So, everybody are kind of, like, gagged. And I'm like, who the fuck is the OGs that are going to stay? The OGs that are staying is Tinkerbella, Diamond, and Biggie. I do not know why the fuck y'all tried to play with Biggie like that. I, uh... I, I, you know, and I just feel like guys want to push her into and then doing all type of crazy ass shit. And it looks like later on in the season, she's gonna she gonna be revealing that like she has one lung. This bitch is going through a lot now. Y'all probably be like, why the fuck did you come to bed with one lung? You know, you you, you kind of hate that, but 
Every little she needed some money for another one. <laughs> like, I, you know, not to joke about it, but girl, if certain things were brought up and she may have specified off camera, like, hey, I can't fight, this is a lot of, there's a lot of this shit going on right here, I'm really just here for a bag, like, really for a bag. They should have let that bitch long. They should have been sending her up for failure because when y'all put her in this house with these bitches that have been trying to fight her, that's setting up, set, ooh, that is setting her up for failure. Don't set her up for failure. But that's what they did. Of course, Biggie is not fucking forward, girl. She's making all type of faces. She's laughing. I don't know who she could have switched. They could have switched out and put her put in the house. But I feel like, ooh, wait, Jayla. They could have switched Jayla ass out and put her ass in the house if they really wanted a fucking show. Because Jayla does a lot of mouth running. It's like a lot of fucking bitches that want her in that goddamn house. And it's a lot of fakes that she's running from. It's a lot of fakes that she's willing to do. They should have put Jayla in that damn house. But, girl, that's where the episode ends. I love you guys so much. Make sure you guys stay blessed. I'm a little late because I didn't get to film this review till, till Tuesday. It's Tuesday right now. And I was in Houston, Texas for, like, 48 hours, child. I went to see Big Lotto. That vlog is coming. It's going to open up Vlogmas. It's going to be day one. Um, I have been getting Vlogmas done for you guys. I filmed so many videos, and it's almost time. So, please excuse my absence. I know I really only come and do, like, tea videos and... Um, baddies videos like once or twice a week it's because I've been working and getting shit together okay but I'm gonna be here every fucking day starting next month alright so I love y'all so much make sure you guys be safe love y'all love y'all